everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday where we take a good close look at something cool made of silver or gold. And this week we are sponsored once again by the very generous people at the Germania Mint who have sent me one of their newest products to have a look at and showcase here today. Now in openness and transparency I do get to keep this for free which is very generous of them. It's pretty cool and it breaks the mould in terms of what a coin shape should be. But we are not here to just do a quid pro quo kind of pump and dump. We are here to just show it. And if you like it and want to get it, then you can look to make that purchase decision yourself. There are no affiliate bonus codes. However, there is a link to the Germania Mints website where you can find a list of their approved suppliers. And then you can go and buy it from your local and favorite bullion dealer in due course. So a big thank you to the Germania Mint. Let's dive in and have a look at what we get here. Now, this is a new series, another uh, really cool, elegant, looking series out from the Germania Mint. It's called the Witchcraft series and this first one is the CRS and there's very much the CRS theme in there. It is a quite risque design of a scantily clad druidic style uh, German Germanic I should say uh, female and um, yes it is a little bit scantilous there we can certainly agree on that but it's a very attractive looking product a very attractive looking piece indeed and uh, as with all of the products from the Germania Mint there is a high level of detail and quality and just experience that's been put into making these products and to really set themselves apart by breaking the mold of a traditional coin shape and having it as an octagon I think is pretty damn cool indeed. So you know you've got to set yourself apart in this market unfortunately it's a very crowded marketplace for coins these days and the Germania Mint continues to impress and really push the bounds of that design portfolio which I think is really very commendable in this modern world. So let's get the top of the capsule off and have a good close look. Hopefully I'll be able to get it off. Yes, I will. Fantastic. Um, this is where the Germany Mint products really do literally shine as beautiful bits of silver. Um, the detailing that they manage to achieve on their products is second to none. Uh, and it's worth looking at these outside of the capsule. Absolutely stunning. Just look at that. Now, one thing I said, I said that it was a coin and I should probably correct myself rather quickly before many people start shouting at me in the comment section. This is not technically a coin. So you'll see on the uh, reverse here, we have a denomination of five marks. That is not actually a currency. There is no country out there that has that mark denomination currency anymore. It is just a bit of flavor text that the Germ uh, Germania Mint have put on this product. And, you know, I've always had a bit of a bugger about that. I think it's just, you know, if it's going to be uh, just a round or a medallion or something like that, just have it like that. Don't necessarily pretend it's the cash, the currency. Um, but it is there. <sighs> I, it, it is what it is now. We've been going through this for the last five years of the Germanium Mints products. They do come out with some uh, products which are, of course, coin denominated with Euro denominations, but this one is not one of those. So I mentioned it is the start of a new series. It's called the Witch, uh, Witchcraft series, I think it is. And um, that's, you know, elephant in the room. There's, there's going to be some people that don't like that as a theme. Um, it's, you know, each to their own, quite frankly. I don't have a problem with it. But um, I will just read you a little bit of the information about the coin series out from the Germania Mint's website. So foretelling the future, warding off evil spirits and the secret bot botanical knowledge that were the key abilities that distinguished Germanic seeresses in times when the skills of witches and a uh, were appreciated and the concept of black magic did not yet exist. Their presence among the people was incredibly valuable. These extraordinary beautiful women had the power to perform healing rituals, guaranteeing them unique status in society. They sur surrounded themselves with animals and willingly shared their knowledge of plants with others. Meet the heroines of the coin series from the Germania Mint. Um, just try not to drop the coin. Uh, the, the witchcraft discover their magic, delve into the symbolism hidden um, into the coin details and draw the energy from the magical stones. Really, really cool. Oh yes, the magical stones. Let's just have another flip over of this and we can see that we've got the runic stones up here on the top of the coin around the outside edge. Really good. One thing I always love with the Germania Mint's products is they have such incredible detail on both sides. It's not just one side that they pay attention to and I love that about them. They are exceptionally beautiful products. There is no doubting that at all. So let's just have a quick look at some of the particulars of this product through the Certificate of Authenticity here. Uh, so we can see that it is a 2023 release, one ounce of 9999 fine silver, so 49 silver and released mintage of 20,000 for this particular product. 
That I think is a touch higher than some of the other products that we've seen in the bullion uh, sort of ranges for these. I don't think it's going to make it an unattractive option. I think because it's unique and different in that shape, uh, shape, size, uh, not size, shape, shape. I'm making stuff up now as I go, but you know what I mean. Because it's unique and different in that respect, I think the mintage is not a massive problem for me. It looks very attractive. It's very, very elegant and well-made. So it's got a lot going for it. That said, it probably will sit on the upper end of the uh, sort of bullion premium section. It won't be into sort of proof coin price ranges, but it will, it will certainly be up there in terms of the product prices. Now on the Germania Mint's website, there are also two other uh, varieties of this coin. There is a one ounce, in fact I've got it here on my phone, let me show you. There's a one ounce version which is antiqued with some selective gold gilding, which will look pretty special, no doubt. And then there is a fully um, kind of enameled, I would imagine, coloured version with the sort of nature green there in the background. The mintages on those, I don't know without going in. Let's have a quick look. We've, I mean, that looks pretty damn good, I have to say, on that side. That one there has a mintage of 2,000 pieces. And then on the third one, we're going to have a mintage of just 999 pieces. So that's going to be pretty cool. If actually, though, I have to say, I think I prefer this gold gilded one. It's beautiful with the antiquing. That's going to look really good. Maybe if you guys would be so kind as to say in the comment section that you'd love for the Germania Mint to send me one to showcase, that would be fantastic. Um, but not necessary if, uh, if the Germania Mint doesn't want to. I've already had a lot of very generous donations from them as a sponsor. So huge thank you to them again for their sponsorship of our channel and sending me these incredible products to showcase. As I said, I am not here in any kind of affiliate bonus code way. There are links in the description box to the Germania Mint's website where you can find out more about this series and the other coins within it and a list of all of their approved suppliers. So if you would like to go and grab some in the near future, then you know that they exist. I think they're pretty cool. And as with most Germania Mint's products, they are quite desirable and quite collectible. Are they worthy of going out and buying hundreds to stack and stack and stack? I'd say probably not. But to have some in your collection as a curious curiosity, I think there is a lot to be said for that. And I commend the Germania Mint for their bravery in putting a very scantily clad lady on their coin, uh, or round, I should say, it's not a coin, and also the changing of shape. I think it's cool, I think it's unique. And Good job, the capsule's in good condition. Hopefully nobody will have seen that except my super extra cool kids club who watched at the back end of my videos. A huge thank you to you for watching. Let me know that you're super cool by telling me how stupid I am for dropping this lovely product live on camera. Otherwise, thank you to all my Backyard Bullying, Bullion Rambling Society members for also being so very cool. We'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.